Welcome to Spacey Tracy Nails. My channel is all about nail art, reviews, swatches, and more. You can also find me over on Facebook and Instagram. Now let's go do some nails. If you want to see how I made these nails, stay tuned and let's watch the video. Welcome y'all to my channel. I'm going to be doing an ombre with these tips that I got from the Dollar Tree and the little holder with the magnetics. I got them from Amazon. I'll have everything down below of all the descriptions of everything that I use. Feeling Wellness is the first, um, it's the base color that I'm going to be putting on the tips to start the ombre. And then I'm using Dixie Plates Minimalist 2. It's got all these little abstract um, designs on it. And I think that'll make a pretty cool design for that. I have a monocle stamper here from Maniology. And I also have a code from them, which is Spacey Tracy 10. The plate that I'm using is Clear Jelly Stamper 22 and it has this um, free space on it and I'm also going to be doing a video of all the free space um, plates that I have. I think that'll be a pretty cool one to use but the reason that this one is really good is because it's longer so it really helps people that have longer nails to do their nails um, with this one. Now I've never used this plate so it looks like it has two as well so here you go guys. People said that they like them. So Pill porn. Here we go. Here's some more. Yay! Ah, there. All right, so we've got that off there, but one thing I didn't show you on camera was um, you should clean off your plate with 100% acetone um, after you take that blue film because there's like residue and stuff on there. Uh, the second color I'm going to be using for this ombre is going to be second hand first love and it's kind of like an orangey kind of color it's almost like a sunset color by the time i'm done with the ombre here um and it's an etsy expressy just so you know okay i'm going to be using this scraping card and it's an ajubis it's one of them firmer ones or thicker ones okay now we're going to put on the feeling wellness on half of this free space and then we're going to take the second hand first love and put it on the other side of the um, free space. I'm going to take my scraper and I'm going to try to get it as low as I possibly can to try to blend these colors so that it's very blendable and looks like an ombre. But when I that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. So we're going to try it again. Clean off the plate with 100% acetone and make sure that, that that little free space is ready and here I go again I'm gonna put the other one uh, second hand first love and then the fill on wellness here we're gonna take the scraper again and I'm just gonna go as slow as I possibly can this time to try to blend the colors so that they are blendable and take the stamper do a rolling motion and I'm gonna clean it off with all of a masking tape on the sides. This doesn't mean that you need to do this with the tips, but if you were putting it on your hands, on your nails, you'd want to because it'd make a mess. And then I'm gonna roll it on to the tip and just, you have to do, you actually have to do this a couple of times to get the, uh, the ombre to start being dark enough. So, okay. Um, I am going to go ahead and put on some music and I'll be back to do some stamping.
welcome back we're gonna do some stamping now with this Dixie plate and here's all the ombres and one of them has got a little bit of a mistake but when you're doing stamping you can usually cover that up and some of the mistakes you don't have to redo your whole nail so this one will be fine once we put the uh, stamping on there the rest of them turned out really really good as you can see they have a top coat on them now and that's why we're good and ready to do some stamping uh, we're going to be using this minimalist place O2 and we're going to have to take up the film um, but, okay so here we go we are going to if I can get this we're going to do some peel porn guys we're going to do some peel porn here we go oh it didn't make that much noise Okay, so after the film is taken off, you want to kill, you want to clean the plate really, really well with 100% acetone, and then um, I go ahead and take like a paper towel and clean it off too uh, before I start doing any stamping. Uh, you want to make sure it's kind of dry so it doesn't mix up with your polish. Now this has got a bunch of abstracts on there, um, little like lines and stuff, and so I'm just going to be kind of picking and choosing which ones. You just don't know which one I'm going to pick. I'm just going to go as I go. Uh, the first polishes we have the She Moderns. They're the sticky stamping polish. And I am going to be, or I, I am putting on um, them with this Miss Shereeing uh, Clear Stamper. It's kind of like the clear jelly ones, but um, I got it off of Etsy. I'll have all that down below again of uh, what I got. So I'm taking it and as you can see I hid where that spot was. So just because you make a mistake on sometimes on your nails you can sometimes you know improvise. I'm cleaning off my uh, stamper on the sticky station and then taking 100% uh, acetone cleaning the plate again and we're gonna go ahead and I'm choosing to do uh, this one right here I think that that'll be a pretty cool one and I want to use this sticky stamping polish is called Peacock, um, Pearl Peacock. And being and this one is the silver, uh, it's a metallic silver. And I do have a code for them for She Modern as well and uh, you can get a discount if you use my code. So I put the polish, I've rolled it on there and now I'm going to stamp it onto the, the nail and I just kind of roll it onto the nail and there it looks uh, I've got two colors on there I'm gonna clean off that plate again with that 100% acetone and I am going to uh, take this peacock and I'm gonna put one on the dots area and then I'm also putting the silver on where the lines are I'm trying to do like a mixed color it's called color placement so I take my scraper and I am scraping and scraping and it didn't work because I scraped too much just took it right out of there you gotta watch it when you're scraping if you scrape too much you scrape the polish right out of the out of the uh, design and I, here I go doing it again and um, it's smeared and that's not looking too good but let's see oh no oh, it's it's gonna be fine and I roll that design onto the nail and I kind of bring it up slowly to make sure it's on there and there we go that one's looking really good alright so let's go on to the next one I'm gonna clean off my little alley mat too because I like to clean that off too I'm picking another one we're gonna go over here and do the color placement again I think color placement is really cool because it just gives a little bit more dimension to your nails uh, scrape it and I'm gonna take stamper I roll it on there and then there it is I'm taking the scraper card to kind of clean off the sides of it the excess so you don't have it on your nails but when you're just doing tips that's okay roll it on to the tip and there it is it's a nice swirly line with two different colors and they blended together really well so that one turned out really well all right, now let's go on to the next nail. Which design, which design, don't know. Oh, there we go. I'm going to put the silver on there and scrape it once and take 
stamper and roll it on there and didn't show you that um, but that's okay we're gonna stick that silver right there on top of it with the wavy lines where I have a couple wavy lines put this very last design on here and we'll just stick it right here roll that on there and it's that nice silver one and then here we go you can look at all of them they look really cool there this is the abstract look I'll have some pictures at the end um, for you to see uh, then before I put anything away I like to clean it um, I clean the top, the front, the back, the mat, everything. Everything has to get really, really clean. I don't like anything we put away dirty. And uh, so here we go. We're going to clean the back of this one. And you're going to see this happen. And I don't understand this. All my other mats that have the names on the back don't do this. So I would love to know from you guys, is this a counterfeit one or is this a real Dixie plate? Maybe it's not. I don't know. I've never seen this happen before. Has anybody else had this happen? Let me know. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope that you will come back and watch me again. And uh, this is Spacey Tracy Nails signing off.